Disney Schminis. Today we're getting back into our Disney Princess Challenge. Now Jasmine is turning into a lovely lady. She's a teen, going to be an adult here soon. Um, and she's just gorgeous. She's just gorgeous. She's a gorgeous gal. Um, she's a very powerful, lovely lady. She's like one of the only princesses we've had that's kind of started off like a princess. Like, I mean, Snow White wasn't really... I mean, she was, but she wasn't. Um, Cinderella was not a princess first. Tiana was not. Sleeping Beauty was. Sleeping Beauty was a princess from the start. Belle was not. But Jasmine's like the first, like, princess, princess, I swear. Like, I don't know. She's just felt like a royal since day one from us. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Your shirt looks cute. Actually, it's a very long, it's a long dress. <laughs> it's my, like, my summer faves. It's got, like, the flowy sleeves. Um, yeah, it's my, it's like my comfort summer outfits is, like, big baggy dresses, so. It's what it is. <laughs> I'll be in and out of stream today. Not allowed, Liz Geller. Not allowed. You can't leave. No. <laughs> I won't allow it. Oh, my God. All right. So. Oh, it's not my email. It's just the sound for my computer on this one. It's annoying. I hate it. But look at Jasmine. I think she's actually dancing right now. Um, I caught her here dancing, and I thought this was a beautiful way to start. So, Jasmine, would you like to show us the moves you're working on? Okay, never mind. Um, it's my game. Yeah. <laughs> I hate the little shimmy dance they do. She just went from all that elegance to, like, the stupid shimmy shake. Like, why is this the dance move that The Sims programmed? I hate it. <laughs> Off like this. Oh, I gotta fix that sound. Why do they always do that to me? Why does this always happen to me? I don't like it. Mm, I'm detecting lagging already in my stream labs. I swear if we crash again today, I'm gonna throw this against the wall. Hold on. Just watch Jasmine dance and be mesmerized for like two more seconds. Alright. Into the beautiful freaking quietness. Hello, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> it just reminds me of that freaking spoof. Uh, Lady Rainicorn! Hi! Oh my goodness, thank you so much for that four, four month prime resub, thank you! Liz Geller, thank you for that six month resub, appreciate, appreciate. Do, do, do. Sneak back in. Oh, Jafar is doing crime things. Performance loss, yeah, well, Jafar, you kinda suck. Oh, look at her, Jasmine! Oh, she's always so pretty. I'm really glad we did the hair down Ooh. style. Oh, stop it. Your co-host is now available. I don't care, TikTok. Don't send me notifications. Stop it! <laughs> I did not allow TikTok live things to send me notifications. Please stop your business. I did not ask for this. Thank you. I don't need your help. <laughs> no worries, Lady Rainicorn. Love to see you stop in every now and then. Say nothing. All right. So the Sultan, you know, he's not over his grieving wife at this point, but like, he's kind of, he's yeah, a little bit of a cold right now. Uh, Dahlia is rightfully taking away, oh my God, is this the tea? No, this is made by Jasmine. Yeah, no, it wouldn't be made by Jasmine. It would have been made by Moana if this was the tea that Moana drank um, when she passed away. So that'd be good to, uh, to get out of here. 
So if you weren't here last stream, Moana died of suspicious causes. Well, I guess everyone else thinks that she died by, um, from her sickness that she had. When really we know that it was Jafar who did it. Um, he had poisoned her uh, medicine that she was taking. So Jafar really did do it. But Moana is dead nonetheless. Jasmine has always grown up being very suspicious of Jafar. Jafar, in the time that Moana has been gone and Jasmine has been growing up, has landed himself in the ear of the Sultan. He's the second hand man, the right hand man of the Sultan. So he is exactly where he thinks he wants to be right now. Um, Jasmine, very sus, does not like him at all. And Dahlia is just, you know, she her business is just taking care of Jasmine. So she doesn't have time to guess what Jafar is up to. She's busy making sure the palace is in order and Jasmine's taken care of and whatnot and whatnot. Okay, instead of making tea, though, can you clean that sink? I guess fine, have yourself a tea. You're a working lady. Jasmine, you're so pretty! <laughs> And I love how Raj is over here waking her up. What's Jasmine up to? Jasmine's so gorgeous. I can't get over her. Her outfits, her everything, her hair, her... Oh, Jasmine is so pretty. Why is she tippy-toeing? Oh, I have like a foot... Ma, um, a foot... It's a shoe that looks like tiptoe feet. Because, I don't know, I think I think sometimes it's cute. Oh, you're not going to cook? Why not? You came down here to do it. Why don't you finish it out? I'd love to see what a princess makes. You're gonna come all the way up here to what? Do we not have a sink? Oh no, we do have a sink. I told you to clean it. And you have not. Aww, uh, she wants to cook a tortilla wrapped a veggie dog. Well, Jasmine. Jafar came home with just a mere $63. Sa, Jafar. All right. So Jasmine's a teen, and she's kind of, you know, her ever since her mother's death and stuff like that, her dad has obviously been very protective of her, but they have a very good relationship still. They're very jokesters. But, you know, also Jasmine likes to try and talk to him about politics. And, you know, the Sultan, he's just a little in his ways. He's like, no. Um... This is kind of no place for you, Jasmine. Because, you know, in, in his days, things were always done, you know, where it's the sultan. The, the sultan's a man and stuff like that. So as much as he loves his daughter and he thinks his daughter is very smart, he doesn't like her getting involved in the politics too much. So every time Jasmine tries to talk to him about the politics, he's just like, nah, isn't it? don't worry about it. And um, Scar, Scar, <laughs> Jafar... Jafar has also done a lot um, <laughs> to like kind of like take his dad or take her dad aside and be like, don't, uh, Sultan, are you really going to listen to the ideas of a teen girl? And Jasmine's like, but dad, I, I studied all the books. I know our culture, our thing, our everything, our wars, the reasons they were fought and everything. She's like, I'm confident that I can do some good here if you just listen to my ideas. And Sultan's like, nah. <laughs> Nah, don't worry, you're so cute. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna help yourself to whatever this is? Outpost. Popcorn, uh, popcorn, popcorn's what you're eating for breakfast, I mean. Pop off, girly. I guess it's more of a midnight snack. So popcorn at one in the morning makes actually sense. I'm sorry, Jasmine, I ever doubted you. Fobizi, Barba. All right, so the Sultan begins talking to Jasmine and telling her that she is close to marrying age and she should have her head out of politics and in finding a future husband. Jasmine is not thrilled, but she understands this is the expectation and she hasn't met anybody yet, you know, so she's hoping that Maybe, um, maybe f trying to find a suitor would be fun. You know, she's thinking, oh, maybe I'll find the love of my life, just like my dad and my mom. 
Um, so Jasmine at the beginning is very open to the prospect of finding a suitor. And so Sultan tells Jasmine, hey, in the morning, um, I'd like you to go out and, and meet some suitors and good, just go out Stana and find Shino. some uh, some strapping and young Robbie men Seabrook. whom you trust you know and, you know, you think it'd be good. Robbie Seabrook. He's like, and if not, I'll pick somebody for you. And Jasmine's like, well, I'd rather have a choice. So she's uh, she's going to go do that herself. <laughs> just Aladdin. <laughs> She's like, Dad. Oh, wait, how do I have kids quit school? Usually they're not teens long enough for me to... Oh, we need to pay our bills, too. <laughs> in the work tab oh yeah I kind of it would be there wouldn't it quit school right look at Acacia find odd job at clinic why would you be able to buy any of this you're a teenage girl huh. hmm well I'll just have her skip school if I need to, but uh, it's fall. I want it to be summer. <laughs> you know, the only time we'll ever have been playing in winter is literally just for Frozen. That's it. I will never play it again. Oh, wow, Jasmine. What dancing? Um, let's see. Still pretty late at night. I'm gonna fast forward because I would like her to go on a date as soon as it's morning, and it's only like three hours away, so. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. We know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on her phone and pick a semi-blind date. Or no, we could pick a date in general. I should think we should try and find a prince of some sort. Um, But we don't want them to be related to us. So it can't be any of the ones that are related to us. Though, chances are it's back quite a few generations, but still. Should probably aim for them to not be in our family lineage, but there are a lot of princes in our family lineage, so that's gonna narrow down my market there. Especially teen princes. I don't know if we have that many. Hmm. Manners, not you using those to tell me to save. Okay, fine, saving. Thank you so much for the bits. <laughs> Don't forget, we got the viewer attacks. I love those things. They're, I think, my favorite thing I've added in a while. Our chat emotes don't work anymore. Yeah, no, they don't. I've been trying to figure out that one. Ever since I added the viewer, atta the viewer attack, um, the emote wall does not work anymore. So I don't know why. I don't know if they conflict or what the problem is. So I'm not 100% sure. Maybe they conflict. Um, all right, I'm gonna wait till seven o'clock and then I'll start the date. You know, they're probably at school, but I don't care. Jafar, you just sit down and eat your thing. We're on to you though. Oh, why are you flirty? Ew. Ew. Ugh. I don't want to know why or who Jafar is flirty with. I'm Dredge! Dance, spoopy, dance, spoopy, dance, spoopy, dance, spoopy. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, my favorite! I love the screaming gopher and the pigeon. Those ones are like one of my favorites. 
Oh, we got a hype train coming in. Heck yeah. Oh, we need to get on our blind date. Okay, so it's finally daytime. So let's set up a date. Or let's go, um, let's browse all profiles. See if we can't find a prince that we're like. <gasps> ha! You didn't poop on me this time, Princess Fireball. No, you pooped on Jasmine, technically. Aw, oh, Night Owl. Ah, thank you for the kiss. <laughs> Aaron Z. Is that a prince? Okay, so that is a prince that's related to us. So no, that's a prince that is related to us. I mean, Prince Felix. He's like down the line like 11 gents because he's one of Snow White's sons that, you know, never aged up. <gasps> Princess Fireball, you did not just punch Jasmine. That is so rude. You better apologize to her. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, so I mean, Prince Felix is, is down there like 11 jets. Is it really? Is it really? Hubert Dunbrock. Yeah, no, that's one of the triplets. Yeah, definitely. Definitely not that. Maylin Lee. <laughs> Princess Fireball! I can't with you! You need to stop disrespecting Jasmine around here. Oh my god. Poor Jasmine. <laughs> no. Oh, Young is so cute. Try to look for like actual like princes that were not. <gasps> Lord MacGuffin! Or Lord Macintosh, or we Mass dangle. Attack starts in five, we four, have a mass three, oh, two, let's go. one. I'm ready. Mass attack. Man, the pancakes coming in hot with that though. <laughs> Reminder, it's a mass attack, so go use those Mwah. or go use those viewer attacks, people. Mwah. They're free for the next sixty seconds. Mwah. Oh my god, I forgot about the Mwah. penguins. Yep, experiment. Mwah. You're be throwing bras at me. Mwah. Oh, I love all the kisses. <laughs> TikTok people are always Mwah. so confused. Ew, y'all just kissed poo. Uh, TikTok people are always so very Mwah. confused when Mwah. the mass attack Mwah. happens on Twitch because TikTok people doesn't Pizza. see it. That's why you need to be over on Twitch. Um, Zayden Chester Bright, I believe he is one of Drizella's kids, so I think he is available. So let's do him. Because he's not related to us, he's one of Drizella's old kids. And I think actually Belle went on a date with him and turned him down, so we're just gonna have two people rejecting. I love how some people never age in my game. Um... I love that for us. Well, I feel like I can't hear anything. Uh, where should we go on a date? Where would Jasmine want to go? Uh, to the bazaar? What's going on a date to the bazaar? Oh, crap. What if I see Aladdin there? Oh! Oh, no! Oh, I shouldn't have gone out on a date outside. Jasmine's not allowed to leave the castle. Why didn't anybody remind me that? <gasps> no. Okay, this never happened. Jasmine, uh, introduce yourself to him so I can invite him over to the castle later. But no, I forgot. Jasmine's not allowed to leave the castle yet. No. Oh, somebody's. A oh, he is attracted to Jasmine, though. I think that's not gonna bode well from him because I feel like Jasmine wants somebody who's gonna like her more than her looks, you know? <gasps> no, no, Miss Night Owl. Oh, I love the penguin. <laughs> I love how it just slides off screen. It's my face. She snuck out, it happens. Hey, she can't leave the castle. <gasps> Nemo, AKA Alaska. You changed your name! Now I want to say Nemo aka Alyssa. <laughs> Yay, you're Alaska! I'll never be wrong.
wrong again. <laughs> Hello, yes, just for you. Thank you. I appreciate who is screaming at me. Oh, Princess Fireball, you're not screaming at Jasmine. Good lord. All right, so, uh, so their date starts, and he just runs right by her and it goes straight into the castle. Not very good manners. It's kind of gonna take it down a notch for us, I feel like you know, potential wise, cause he didn't really give her a time of day. He's more, he's like, oh wow, look at, oh, or he's done, check out Dahlia. He's like, oh wow, look at this castle. What an incredible castle. No, don't go to school, don't go to school, don't go to school. Yes, yeah, skip school. Don't you leave either. Zayden, we are on a date. She got yelled at for leaving the castle. Precisely. Uh, I guess. I mean, I guess if that's what you were doing. <laughs> you definitely will say my actual name now. It's going to happen because when your name first came up, that actually I did think Alyssa first. And then I was like, Alaska! <laughs> so Zayden, while he is cute, he definitely has like that air of I'm better than you. And that would, you know, it makes sense from Drizella's son. So Jasmine is going to like it's describe like her new idea to him. Ooh, uh, Raj is gonna come go check him out. And he's like, oh, you have a tiger? Oh, it's kind of weird. He's clapping, but ignore that. He, he's not actually like that. And Jasmine's like, yes, Raja is my absolute best friend. And he's like, oh, oh my other outfit was so drab. Let me just get into my uh, my my daytime outfit. And Jasmine's like, oh, okie dokie. And he's like, do you like my, my, my silks? They're from blah, 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 blah. And she's like, yes, it's very nice. And so it's not going very well. Jasmine's trying to like talk about her ideas and he's like, Ribaza. Oh. he's not really vibing with it. And even if he is, I'm making that up. And she's like, and I want to do this, but my father just won't listen to me. And he's like, so you are thinking that you, a woman, is going to be leading your, your palace? And Jasmine's like, yeah, of course, why wouldn't I be? And he's like, oh, hmm, that's cute. And Jasmine's like, Hmm. Sweet. So you, she's like, why do you like me? And he's like, oh, you're beautiful. And she's like, yeah, but what else? And he's like, what else is there? Doesn't that sound familiar? What is that from people? <laughs> and so Jasmine starts getting a little heated and she knows she should hold her tongue back. But at the same time, why can't I be mean to this man? Oh, because I was in the wrong area. Swan princess. Yeah. <laughs> so she starts um, getting really angry at him. And she's like, what do you mean? And he's like, a woman could never. Blah, 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 blah. Claims Zayden is a plant sim. Claims Zayden is an alien. I love Odette. I need to make Odette. I have all the stuff for her. I just haven't made her character yet. You know what? This is what I usually do when I want to make a character. This is what I usually do when I want to make up a character. Oh. Uh... Ew, I don't want to include custom content. I see Odette. It's so dead. Yeah, I'll go with this. This is usually what I do when I want to uh, remember to do a character. I will go to the gallery and I will save them into my library. That way I can remember that I wanted to fix them up. Like as you can see, I wanted to fix up Carl and some characters from Up. I recently have started fixing up some other ones that I've had on my on my backlist of characters that I needed to edit. So now I'll add Princess Odette to that so I don't forget to make her because I have everything for her. I have her hair, I have her dress, I have everything. So. 
Tonga. He's like, oh, you don't like me anymore? She's like, I don't like how you don't think I can be a good ruler. He's like, but you can't. You're a lady. He's like, it's just simple business. And she's like, you are stupid, sir. Hey, sure, sir. Don't try and butter her biscuit. We're mad at you. Your class, Akinari Avenor. Mock his outfit and his silks. Justin says, you want to fight me? Fight me. <laughs> Queen. Wanna, wanna watch up. He's like, oh, you're a stupid little outfit. Oh, I have silks made from China. Oh, oh, <laughs> Fight him, Jasmine. Teach him what's what. I wish I could stick Raja on him. Ladies can't start fights, but they sure can finish them. <laughs> Get him, Jasmine. <laughs> oh, she beat his butt too! She won that fight! Heck yeah! Alright, kick him out of her house. Get out of here. So, it didn't go well. And then the Sultan comes in, he's like, So, how'd everything go? And Jasmine's like, He was awful, father. And he's like, Jasmine, darling, you can't do this. You have to find a husband. And Jasmine's like, well, he was stupid. And Sultan's like, well, try again. And Jasmine's like, ugh, fine. So I'm going to save real quick before Manders and everybody starts yelling at me. So I'm going to save. Experiment, yep. <laughs> and then let's go ahead and go on another date. I think one of the... Um, I think... Do we want to do Dingwall? We're not going to do the, the blonde one because he's really sweet and I love him. Um, the Sultan's like, dance break! <laughs> I think we will do, do we want to do Wee Dingwall? Or do we want to do uh, Young Macintosh? Because they're both teens. And they're both princes. I don't think we really have a lot of other options. Because all the other princes around are related to us. So. That's about all we got. <laughs> hmm. Which one do you want? His dance. The Sultan's getting it down. He can dance. Ooh. Yes. Go get you some DoorDash. Who wants to make food? <laughs> Dingwall? Oh, we Dingwall. Dingwall it is. Uh. Why all of a sudden did I just think of, does anybody remember that meme? Of the, the, the Pinocchio movie. <sighs> Not the Disney one. But to the Pinocchio movie, where he's like, Father, I want to go out and be on my own. <laughs> Does anybody know what I'm talking about? All right. So Dingwall has now been summonsed. To come to the palace. Hey, why are you still here? Get out of here. We told you to leave. Oh, is it because our front door is just a big open thing? That's not great for guard duty. Hydration. Huh? Hydrate, you bastard. Hydrate. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Message received, Manders. Message received. All right, so Jasmine, you know, she shakes off her last interaction with, but what's his name? And she goes to meet, um, Lord Dingwall. And she's like, Father, I promise I will behave myself on this one. I will give this guy a genuine chance. She's like, trust me, Father, I want to find somebody to love. And the Sultan's like, I know you will, sweetheart. Now go show him what you're made of. I did it. I found your mother and I kept her here at my palace until she fell in love with me. <laughs> and Jasmine's like, yeah, that wasn't creepy at all. 
And so, where do we find Lord Dingwall? Dingwall. Dingwall! Hey. Hey, 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 buddy, where are you going? He's in Fight Club. Stop talking to the Sultan, go talk to Dingwall. Gosh darn it! I just want to talk to Dingwall! Thank you. Now we're going. It's Truma! <laughs> Suitors from Merida get another chance. Precisely, we're just giving them another chance. So Jasmine's like, um, Hello. Silly. <laughs> My name is Jasmine. <laughs> And he's like, I'm Dingwall. She's like, we Dingwall. Why do you call you? Why do they call you that? And he's like, well, my dad's name is Dingwall. And Jasmine's like, oh, that's nice. You're named after your father. That's some great significance. And he's like, yeah, it's it's all right. And Jasmine's like, oh, okay. Um, so I have these ideas. And he's like, yeah, that's stuff. And Jasmine's like, oh, what does your what does your kingdom do? And he's like, we fight. And Jasmine, not into that. She's not into wars. She likes to avoid them. Like women do. Wars are for stupid men. Um, and she tries to get intellectual with him and talk about her interests and things. And while he is a very sweet guy, you know, she's he's just not getting it. He's like, ooh. And, and, but, like, she, he doesn't get it. And Jasmine wants to be with somebody who intellectually can kind of meet her on the same standard, you know? Or who at least finds her conversations about things fascinating. And while Dingwall is a complete sweetie, um, he's, it's just not connecting. There isn't, there's not light behind those eyes. And he's like, oh yeah, uh-huh, sure. And Jasmine's like, Trying to make the connections. And just not enjoying her time with him. She's like, yeah, father. Okay. Jasmine, watch where your hands are at. She's like, yeah, he's nice, dad. But, like, I just, I don't think I feel it. I think I'd rather him just be a friend. And so she's like, hey, you're nice and all. But I don't really think this is going to work out. Could you just kind of leave? And she takes some steps back. to Kind of, like, hopefully, like, get him to know that she's just not interested. Bye, She's like, yeah, bye. Yeah, bye. And he's like, I need to take a nap. <laughs> and Jasmine's like, well, that was unsatisfying. <laughs> She's talking about expanding workers' rights, and he's talking about fantasy football. Oh, I have a crown. <gasps> oh, my God. I feel honored, Mrs. Nayo, for the crown. Thank you. I've never felt more spectacular in my life. I want all the crowns. I want all the crowns now. Thank you. Dingwall definitely is smoked. <laughs> oh gosh. So should she go on one more date to kind of lay it in? Or do you think she's done? One more date for today. Maybe this is one the Sultan sets up for her. Maybe this is what the Sultan has set up for her. So let's do that. So the Sultan this time has set her up with a date. Oh, whoa. Oh my God, I just got like intense pain, like right here behind my eye, along the side of my eye where like my glasses run. Oh my God, I just got like sharp pain there for a second. <laughs> it shocked me. I think we're good now, but it was like really intense. It was like going, oh, oh my gosh. Mm. Hi, Irish. Are we calling in the date? Okay, let's do that. You are a true queen of absolute beauty. <laughs> Sorry, Coda's doing things. Yeah, Coda's chilling in the room with me, by the way. I don't think you guys will be able to see him. Eh. You can see him. He's like right here. He's a little bit of a dead lump. <laughs> he likes 
um, being in my room now when I'm streaming, which I think is really cute. He just comes and chills in here. He likes being in here all together. Look at you scooting on by. Adorable. All right. I'm thinking we're going to do Felix. Who is Jasmine going to be giving birth to? Is this our last one? Jasmine, um, we have to do Mulan still. So Jasmine will be giving birth to Mulan next. And then Mulan will be our final. I thought about doing Prince Asha, but I just don't know how to best tell her story. Um, it's a little difficult. So Jasmine sees Felix roll up and she's like, oh my God. Dad, he's so cute. And she's like, oh my God, he's so adorable. Oh, he's so pretty, Dad. And, she, and he's like, yes, I thought you might like him. Oh, but he does not. He's not interested in Jasmine. He's like, yeah, you're gorgeous, but I don't know. And Jasmine's like, really? She's like, what are you interested in? He's like... Yeah, I just don't really want to settle down. I kind of just want to go around the world, travel, you know. I'm not really interested in much. And Jasmine's like, well, what about your people? And he's like, nah, I don't mind him. He's like, they'll be fine. And she's like, but what if your kingdom needs to raise money for food and stuff like that? He's like, I'll just tax them. She's like, but Jasmine's like, but they need food. And he's like, yeah, it'll be fine. So, like, it's not that he's a bad person. He just, you know... Not much pressure was put on him, and he just kind of flew by, and he just kind of is that person that just thinks everything is going to work out fine and dandy, and he doesn't realize that all of this stuff takes a lot of hard work, and Jasmine is not into that. She's like, he is a big baby. He doesn't know anything about his kingdom. She's like, what are your trades? And he's like, what? <laughs> She's like, what do you do all day? And he's like, oh, I just kind of run around. You stir up the local brothels. Happy and Jasmine's like, this birthday. is awful. <gasps> Manners, you did not just try to throw a cake at me. You narrowly missed me, too. <gasps> you didn't like Soul Experiment? Ah! I don't know who it was either. Princess who? Oh, I liked Soul. I think the first time I watched Soul, I wasn't really into it. But the second time I watched it, I... I don't know. It just hit a lot harder. And then the third time I watched it, I cried. So, I don't know. I feel like Soul is, like, one of those movies that you really got to pay attention to to get, understand, and, like, connect the meaning to your life. Because it does, it's a movie that does have a lot of meaning to it. It just, it causes you to think. And I think that sometimes when people watch a movie, they don't want to think. <laughs> but I, I do like Soul. I liked Wish also. People keep complaining about the art style. But, like, five seconds into the movie, I didn't notice the art anymore. And I was just watching the story. Which is the most important part. But you know, everyone has their thing. I just, you know, it is what it is. And she's like, you don't know anything about your people. And she's very angry. <laughs> and she's like, why are you dressed in knight's apparel? And he's like, oh, I like to fight. And she's like, oh, great. You're a fighter too. Wonderful. <laughs> and he just likes, are we going to eat food? Are you going to serve me? And she's like, why would I serve you? You are a little freaking monster. And he's like, I am not. And, uh, and she's like, you're giving me a headache. You know nothing about your culture. And he's like, why would I need to know anything about it? I just need to rule them. She's like, you need to know about them to rule them. She's like, you're no better than a llama. <laughs> it's like, you're just taking up air. Ninja. <laughs> She's like, all you think about is money. And he's like, I like money. And she's like, you're really going to go look at yourself in a mirror? You didn't even look that good. Oh, Princess Fireball, you missed. 
Oh, now he had to sit for a cross from her so he could yell at her from afar. He's too scared to sit right next to her. He just basically, he doesn't like, uh, Jasmine kind of challenging his view stance. He's like, you know what, you're just a little woman. You're never going to be like me. And Jasmine's like, good, I don't want to be a thing like you. You're stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to schmooze her. We're trying to fight you. And so she sends him away. Says, get out of my house. Oh my gosh. And then Jafar's coming up to be mean to her. How dare you! Oh, for the <laughs> exactly, Princess Fireball. And he's like, oh, a bat. What does he call her? Like kitten or something in the movie? Ooh. Um. So uh, the, her date storms off and the Sultan comes in. He's like, Jasmine, I, are you wearing makeup? Sultan! Fucking save, Josie! Oh, I will save. Fine. Um. Amanda, you need to say <laughs> not everybody throwing things at the screen and sending the alerts. Oh, I get you. I get ya. I just say there. Anyway, Sultan be looking fire. And then he comes to yell at Jasmine. He's like, you said you were going to try. And Jasmine's like, Baba, I did try. He was an idiot. <laughs> and he's like, you need to find a husband. I cannot burn this into you enough, Jasmine. He's like, if you don't find somebody, I will. And Jasmine's like, Dad, I want to be on my own. <laughs> and so, ja and he says, go to your room. I don't want to see you for the rest of the night. He's like, I'm angry at you enough. And so Jasmine goes and... Uh, goes and runs to her bedroom. It's like, you don't even get me, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Papa, she's... No, I said Baba. Uh-uh. It's, it's bees. You're throwing peas at me. I'm going bees here, honey. <laughs> no, it's Baba. Baba. Pretty sure she calls him Baba. Or something like that. Um, Is the Sultan wearing a glitter cut crease? <laughs> Hey, Jasmine, where are you going? Oh, you have to go to the bathroom. Well, I guess that makes... No, you're going to go dance. All right, so it's late at night. Jasmine just wants to leave, but her father isn't letting her. He's locking her in the house. You know, he's, she's never allowed to go anywhere. And so she decides she is going to sneak out. So she disguises herself, hoping her father... Um, she took Dahlia's clothes, and she disguised herself, hoping her dad would think that she's Dahlia going out. And so she is about to sneak on out of the castle. Tupperware. You're throwing bees at me. It's peas. <laughs> Baby peas. <laughs> I think of Hades. He's a guy. <laughs> what does she call her dad? Does she call him daddy? Uh, no. Sounds like you said papa. I said baba. <laughs> There's no P sound in Arabic, so all the P sounds are replaced with B sounds. Yeah! <laughs> Princess Fireball! Oh, Princess Fireball. You know I can't stay angry at you. <laughs> I'm just like how you hit Jasmine. I start to yell at you and you give me a kiss and it <laughs> Oh, I can't stay that me. <laughs> Would you let the poor princess go be? <laughs> I would love to let her go pee, but she is prioritizing dancing. Oh my god, Moana is... Jasmine's dead mother is calling her now. It's calling her from beyond the grave. Dang it, I forgot to change his name. I forgot the H on the edge of his name. Maintains him, renames him. Agurabaha! Oops, not caps. No, I was... I did exaggerate, but I didn't want caps. And he's like, Dahlia, where are you going? And she's like, oh, just going to go uh, get some grapes. He can't. Oh, dang it. Peking. <laughs> Sorry. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the things. Oop, 
I almost hit block. That'd be bad. <laughs> um, allow my to turn off. Sure. Not everybody yelling at me. All right, I gotta look at you. Hold on, just give me a second. Um, Athena, I see all your things are turned on. So I don't see a reason why you wouldn't be able to do the things you need to do. Unfollow. Because <laughs> it says you have all accesses enabled, so. Mm -hmm. If Athena has full access, I want double full access. Let me see. I'm going to check. Uh, let me see. Um, are you guys having it? You, all, you each have all the things you need. <laughs> Then I want triple access. <laughs> there you go. Bliss, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. And he's like, okay, Dahlia, have a good time. And no, don't, don't go talk to him. You already, like, snuck out enough. Let's go. Come on, get out of here. Sneak out. He thought you were Dahlia. He bought it. Get out of the castle, Jasmine. What? What's going on? <laughs> sorry, I just had to, um... One of my moderators got a new TikTok account. And so I had to go back and re-moderate them with their new TikTok account. And you can only do it when you're like live streaming, which is stupid. Or at least that's the only way I've ever found to do it. I've gone to their profiles, clicked on things, and it just doesn't do it. So um, I did it the only way I knew how. All right. Save, manage, and go world. So I want to add Jasmine to the new household. <laughs> Uh, Bethany, thank you so much for that 13 month reset! <laughs> Thanks for all of your fun streams. No problem, Bethany. Thank you so much for being here for so long. Bethany, yours is like one of those names that I'll always recognize. I just love the Bethany. <laughs> Raz, thank you so much for the follow, by the way. Thank you. I appreciate that. I always feel like I say the same thing every time, but I do mean it. <laughs> I do mean it. Ooh, I won't work for me. Athena, what happened to you if you tried to get it? Athena, I don't know what's wrong! <laughs> uh, Alright, let's split up Jasmine. So Jasmine is running away. And she goes to the local, like, what she thinks is poor houses. Hmm. My husband needs to come give Coda his insulin shot. I'm gonna give him a minute to see if he shows up. Oh, yes. Well, no, we're curious. Don't want to miss out on the tea. <laughs> oh, let me go throw this in my Discord mod chat because they don't believe me. There. All right, so, Jasmine, excuse me, not supposed to be here yet. Movie magic. Jasmine? You're an eye, you're supposed to be in disguise. I guess you don't really have a nice disguise, do you? I'm afraid you'll get hot in this, but I want you to stay in it for a little bit. Actually, gosh darn it. Hold on. Excuse me. I need her to stay in this. I'm afraid she'll get hot. And I don't want her to die on accident. <laughs> hot Lady Rainicorn, I am just as nosy. I am always wanting to hear the hot gossip every time. Ah. Alright, her cold weather outfit. It's over in here. It's a long dress next to the. What? No, it says cold weather. Oh, cold weather. Okay, a mid tier. About where Civic stresses starts. 
Civic stresses have started, which means it is right. Now listen here. Make a fool out of me. Will I look for it? Mm, there it is. Got it. Heels. I think I have her in heels. What shoes are you wearing? Jesus. Jesus. Where are they at though? They are right here. I found them. Probably you have leggings on. I'm just gonna give you this. All right. I don't want her to be like too obvious. All right, necklace. I need her to have that scarf thingy. Listen. Now no one will suspect she's a princess. Not a soul. Oops, there we go. <laughs> Back to the fun side. Mods, go look at mod chat. Just so you know. That's what I have. <laughs> Bliss, I can't be on TikTok like a peasant. <laughs> So Jasmine is now at the house. She's run away from her father's place um, in the night. You know, chances are he doesn't really know she's gone yet. But she's come here to stay for a little bit. This is, oh, hello. Kenzie, thank you so much for coming on over to Twitch. Welcome to our club. Don't yell at me, I'm sensitive. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> and so uh, Jasmine helps herself, and she kind of goes walking in to the village. So this place is kind of for the dancers. Do you guys hear sound alerts well? Like, can you hear them okay? But yeah, over here, living, are the dancers. Yes, okay, good, as long as you guys are hearing it, because for me it's coming through my speakers, but I wanna make sure you guys hear all the alerts clearly still. Which it says you guys are, it's just, it's just coming in at a different spot for me. So here we have Fatima. We have Basma, or Basma, and we have Azina, ooh, who is showing off her chess skills. So yeah, they're the uh, they're the dancers here, and uh, Khadija is basically like the runner of the dance house, and. This guy here, who is not dressed appropriately, is Aladdin, who doesn't stay at the dance house necessarily. He kind of lives above it. So this is where Aladdin lives. I've actually been curious to see if this all works because I haven't been able to play test it yet. So this is Aladdin's little house. Oh, a boo! And we have a boo! A boo is over here looking at his very empty food dish, which Aladdin is gonna go ahead and fill. Off with your head is the loudest thing. <laughs> Showing off her chest skills. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 
Uh, a boo, don't you dare go eat the apples and the bread. That's all we have. Right, now go sit on this. Dang it, can you not get up there? Sorry, can you get up here? He's like, can you know, I want you to see if you can go up here. Is it the, is it the house that's the problem? Yeah, you can't. Oh, it's cause it's too high up, he'll hit his head. I guess I could lower the platform, but it kind of throws off my whole vibe. Oh well, you get the vibe. You get the vibe. His pants are so baggy, they break. Aw, they do! I never noticed that! Oh well, it's fine. So Aladdin comes down and Jasmine's just kind of schmoozing it up with the dancers. And they're like, oh, we're putting on a performance tonight. You should come check it out. And Jasmine's like, oh my god, I would love to see you girls dancing. And she's like, you guys are all so beautiful. And they're like, yeah, we kind of have to be. And Aladdin's like, this girl over here, kind of gorgeous. And like, at first he's thinking that she's a new worker here. <laughs> but he like kind of sees there's an air about her. He wants to kind of go up and talk to her, but she's like, mm, too uppity for him. So... Ja <laughs> Look at Aladdin over here trying to impress everybody. He's like, look at me. I am so strong. I am the strongest. And Jasmine doesn't notice him, you know? <laughs> and she says, you want to see that? That ain't nothing, Aladdin. <laughs> oh. I love that. Fatima and Aladdin are just like, nah, buddy. Oh, oh they have romance! Oh! Does Aladdin have romance with all the dancers? No, it's just the one in red! Okay, well, actually, I guess Aladdin and her have a thing for each other. They must have flirted at one point. And Jasmine's like, I could do that too! Aladdin, you dog. <laughs> the red girl outfit is stunning. I like all of their outfits. I think they all are pretty gorgeous. And so basically Khadijah also, she's like trying to like convince Jasmine to come join. She's like, you know, I've got, I've got red, I got pink, I got purple. I could use blue. You'd look great in blue, and she and Jasmine just kind of chuckles a little bit. <laughs> By the way, she's telling people her name is Yasmin over here, and Aladdin's like, you know, and basically, you know, Jasmine's just telling him about all her ideas, and Aladdin's like, yeah, that's pretty cool, and stuff like that. But Jasmine's, you know, trying not to keep it on the down low that she's the princess. Like she doesn't really want to tell him right away and he's like oh uh, yeah my life's okay and she's like jasmine's like i wouldn't give anything to be you she's like you're free and aladdin's like yeah free ain't really free <laughs> and i do want the girls to go like put on one little dance for you guys because i downloaded something special and gosh darn it if i will waste it So let me go ahead, game options, gameplay, full, off. Ooh, also I need to do this. Actually, you're not in the right outfit either. That's your fit. All of the girls gather, please. Step forward. Step forward. Oh. Step back. Now step forward. Here we go. Apparently we have a bunch of guys uh, meeting us up here as well. But I want to try this. I just want to see how it goes. I don't have much experience with this. So we'll see. I'm just going to kind of give them all a different move to do. 
<laughs> Why aren't you in uniform? <laughs> I love freaking <laughs> the random crap we all say now. I can feel like our generation just speaks in memes. I don't know if it'll make any sense if they're all dancing on a different dance, but I just want to show it off to you guys because I figured it was the perfect thing uh, for Jasmine's. Um, I think we'll do this one. All right, I think they'll all just start doing that immediately, so we'll see. Oh, I gotta make sure my camera's not in the way for you guys to see. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a little silly, but I love the dance. Like, I don't know, it's perfect for the girls, but I wish that it had, like, any semblance of going together at all. Like, this girl over here is just busting out a move. She's doing something really cool. And she is also doing things, but like, if you look at them all separately, it is pretty nice. <laughs> I like how this is her only move, it's just this. Just that move. <laughs> I like, okay, it's more chaotic than I had thought. But it would be hard to go through and do the dance in like a really smooth fashion. So I'm gonna set, um one girl up to do all of it just because i i want to see like the dance from start to finish see i've never done like animation pose packs but i guess they make sense all right uh, the only thing i don't like is it like also animates them singing Reminds me of the jellyfish dance from Spongebob. <laughs> it's so pretty though once you see it from start ah, to finish. The floor beast is swipey. But you could hear the music from here though. This dancing's not as cool if there's no music around. But she's so pretty. It's cool to see Sims dancing though, because the Sims has such awful dance moves. So like it is really cool to see like actual cute moves. Excuse me! Don't you see that this lady is working right now? Yeah, this is the only one that doesn't make sense. It's very modernized. Eight, eight, seven, six. So, uh, section six is very modernized, which would be really cool to see Sims dancing like this for the club, I think. So I think this would be a good dance move to use in the club. I wish I could just make them all smoothly do this, but they the animations like go on rewind. I'm sure there's a way to set it up though, so that once the animation is over, it moves on to the next one. But these Sims right now just keep doing the same animation over and over again until until whatever, you know. <laughs> It is cute though. I do like this. Any thoughts on the new roadmap? Sneak peek. I just hope they actually fix it. Oh, and about the Sims' statement of um of them grabbing a team to just so that their sole purpose is to go through and fix the bugs in the game. I am just amazed at um, the fact that they didn't already have this. Like, why? I don't understand why they didn't already have a team dedicated to fixing bugs. Like, that seems like 
something they already should have had from the very start. Like, I assumed they had that team. I thought they already had a team of people whose sole job in here was to go through and fix what was broken in the game. But it's obvious they don't, because now they just said they're going to be hiring people for that. And I don't know. I'm just annoyed that the, at the fact that EA didn't already have people for this. Like, they should have had people for this. Like, I don't know how they make a game and they didn't have people for this. Uh, yeah, I should have had the team for 10 years. No, right, exactly. Like, 10 years of this game and you haven't had a team just dedicated to fixing stuff? Or, like, a team dedicated to go through and, and look for bugs themselves? Like, I feel like they make a pack and they throw it out and they just, like, hope and pray it's not that broken. Wow, that sim is irresistible. <gasps> Jasmine has a huge crush on Aladdin. Oh, Jasmine really likes Aladdin. He listens to her. He talks about things with her. He's real with her. And Jasmine just eats that up. She's like, I, I like that he treats me like a person. He's like, I'm not just a princess to him. I'm anything. It's very disappointing. I know, I'm just upset. For the game this big, they need a team and should have had one. They should have had one from the start. Just, they should have had one from the start. Like, if there's many expansion pack, games pack, stuff packs, why wouldn't they have that? That's why they don't have gameplay. That's why they just have clothes and furniture and very minor gameplay functions. Because they don't have a team dedicated to fixing it. So that's why they only pump out pretty clothing and cool furniture in The Sims. Like, I'm a gameplay person. I like funny, quirky things to happen. As you can see, I'm a gameplay person because of this whole challenge. I like funny, quirky things in The Sims. And I feel like in The Sims 2 and in The Sims 3, I didn't have to make up stuff. You know, it made me laugh. The game by itself made me laugh. Um, and I love that about the game. And I feel like this game, I've got to make it happen for me to laugh. So. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Who have the shoot who would have thought that she would have a crush on Aladdin? Right? Like Jasmine's met a couple different guys already. And this is the first thing that's popped up saying that she has a crush on them. She has met the other suitors and they had a crush on her, but Jasmine has a crush on Aladdin. She thinks he's cute, which is normal, which just proves that Jasmine and Aladdin were meant to be for forevers and evers. And so while Jasmine had a beautiful time, um, she realizes that she has to return back to her father. She's like, what am I thinking? I can't help my people if I'm not with my people. But she enjoyed being able to just spend the time um, getting to know her people. So she goes ahead and runs back home. And Aladdin basically figures out that she's a princess. He's like, you're Jasmine, aren't you? He's like, you're Princess Jasmine. And she's like, oh, um, yeah, blah, 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 bye. And she's like, I have to go back to my people. She's like, I had to escape my father. He just never lets me go anywhere. And Aladdin's like, I get that. And she's like, I'll see you sometime. And Aladdin's like, yeah. And he just doesn't believe her. She's like, there is no way she would ever fall for a guy like me. He's like, it's just not going to happen. That's when Aladdin gets an idea. He's like, you know what? Maybe she could fall for me. Maybe I could make this happen. And he's heard legends tell of a genie lamp hidden in a cave far away. And he's like, I just, I love Jasmine. I think she's the most amazing person in the world. He's like, I just know I have to find a way to impress her. She's like, she she would never fall for a street rat like myself. From what I have heard, there will be two new destination worlds, so I'm very curious. Oh, I like vacations in the Sims. I've used them. Well, I did not see the genie. <laughs> 
And Aladdin did not see the genie that was standing right in front of the door. And so Aladdin goes to what he has heard is the Cave of Wonders. And he's like, I will go through this place. I'm sorry. What sneaky way is he saddling up to the door over here? Oh, this is so Aladdin right now. He's just, if I could freaking see in there. It doesn't trust me. Ugh. But I want to see. He's just sneaking up to the door, listening in. Oh, did I tell him to eavesdrop? Oh, I meant knock on door. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, he thought about stealing right away! Aladdin! Buddy, you know your character. You know who you were meant to be here. So Aladdin comes into this place and instantly he sees so much treasure and gold all along the walls. But he also heard that if you steal anything from before reaching the lamp, that uh, it is all a mirage and it'll all disappear. And so he goes further into the depths. Oh, heck yeah, let's do this vote. Go, Aladdin. Further! Onward! Go! The time in the rough. Do, 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 do. And he comes down and sees, wow, just an enormous display of all of these treasures. Wow, so much gold. No, Aladdin, no, 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 go in. No, you have to go further now. No, don't go back up. <laughs> um, trying to play The Sims in first person mode is very difficult, but it's really funny. And if you guys never knew that you could play Sims in first person mode, you can. All you have to do is hit shift and then tab and you can go first person mode on your Sims. And I love that. Go baby, go. Go here. Go further in. Ignore the gold, Aladdin. No, Aladdin, no! Good, go. Go this way. Go down here. <laughs> and then you go further. And then go here. Wow, what an elaborate gold display. It could make somebody rich for a long time. And then Aladdin comes finally. He's traveled a long way to get here. But he finds the genie lamp. At the bottom of the cave. And they say, if you'd like to collect the genie, you have to destroy the lamp. And so he's done that. So he smashed the lamp and all of a sudden it says, go forth and find thine in blue. Not me making that up on the spot. <laughs> We definitely haven't seen him like 36,000 times leading up till now. <laughs> Yay, it's Genie! <laughs> it's Will Smith Genie because making the Disney Robin, um, Robin Williams version is very difficult. <laughs> I'd get so annoyed in the first person mode. It is very difficult. And I even have, um, like, where this is, I have to listen to me. Mm. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. <laughs> ah. And so Aladdin adds him to his family because the genie is now bonded to him. Oh, and genie instantly is not a fan of him. Apparently they have a little... Well, you know what? I guess that comes from a little bit of the bitterness of Aladdin destroying his lamp. But also, I think, you know, genie's, <laughs> genie says he's hungry. <laughs> and Aladdin's like, well, get me out of the cave. And he's like, only if you take me to get food, I guess. And so, you know, there is a... um. A taste of Agrabah 
restaurant. So I guess we'll just take Genie there because Genie said he's hungry. <laughs> oh no. Hey, listen, he'd st he's starving. I'd steal too. And Aladdin's like, well, Genie, I can't go in unless you dress me up. This is a place. It's got a dress code. And Genie's like, no, you got a wish for it. And Aladdin's like, uh, nah, I guess we won't get food. And so, <laughs> so Genie stubbornly pops Aladdin in a nice little, little fit. And then pops himself in a nice little fit. And they go get some food. Oh my god, who? <laughs> Scuttle! I did not know you work at a taste of Agrabah. Wow, Scuttle. I'm so impressed with you. You're so fancy, Scuttle. Does Ariel know about- Oh, Ariel's dead. Sorry. I'm gonna bring that up. Cosmic phenomenal power. Leaving space. So Genie goes ahead and checks them in! Oh, Scuttle, you're so suave, Scuttle! Take me to my table! Oh, Genie, you're stuck on a wall. You got it, okay. Wow, what a restaurant. Oh my god, is that Cruella DeVille? That is Cruella DeVille! Oh, I didn't know she worked here either. Wow, very fancy. Ooh, this is actually my first time seeing this. Oh, is that freaking what's-her-face uh, from Peter Pan? The mom? <gasps> oh, a terrorist seed. How thank you. Thank you, Scuttle. Thank you. Yes. Where is Aladdin at? Aladdin cannot sit at a table that is not his. But this is your table. But we're here together. Why? But they're here together to eat. Why can't they you? Can I... Actions. Um. I want Aladdin to come eat with us, but it says he can't. I guess Genie's just eating by himself. No, I wanted him to come. How do I get Aladdin to go eat? Oh my god, it's the king from, uh, from Far Far Away. Also the Grand Duke. Oh, wow. Oh. Who else we got coming here? Daniel? Abraham? Um, not a group. They weren't in a group. But! I can't add them as a group. Actions. They won't let me. Actions. I can't add them in a group! Why not? Oh my god, because they don't know each other? You know each other. Get out of here. But they know each other. Oh, for giggles. Oh my gosh. It's the mom and dad from Peter Pan. What are their names? George Darling and Mary Darling. Oh! <gasps> no freaking way! Mary Weather, one of the fairies from Sleeping Beauty's Tale, is out on a date with the chef from Little Mermaid. I love the Disney Sims that you see hanging out together. I love this Disney save. It is so fun. Ooh, we have quite the stud as a waiter. Aww. Oh, that's one of the girls from Mulan. We'll be getting to know her more. Oh, the king from far, far away is out with his wife. That is so cute. I love that. That This kind of stuff makes me happy. It's just seeing all my Disney characters out and about in the world. Especially if they're out on a, like, a little date together. It's so cute. All right, have you gotten to know Aladdin? Can you form a group now? Add to group. Uh, I can't give up table. All right, let me try this again. We haven't even ordered, so let me give up my table. 
Excuse me, who are you two? Sigworth. <gasps> oh, it's Prince Finn of Arendelle! This is one of Anna and, and uh, Kristoff's kids! That is so cute. Aladdin, don't get hit by a car. Be careful over there. More actions. Add to group. There. Okay. Now, request a table. All right, Scuttle, hook me back up for me and my buddy this time. It's like a reunion. It is. I love it. What's up, Cruella? Nice to see you working. Thank you, Scuttle. Oh, a better... Well, I don't know if I like this seat as much, but thank you anyways. Um, let's go ahead and order right away. And so Aladdin's like, so, Genie, here's my thing. I got... So apparently now, <laughs> instead of just talking to each other about what Aladdin wants and Genie's ordering food, um, of course, Genie is going to get himself a cream cola and he's like, I'm going to order you a water... <laughs> No, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna take Aladdin out on a nice thing. He's gonna get Aladdin a nice little root beer float. Um, let's go ahead and get, this is what Genie wants, and let's do something cool for Aladdin. He would like a nice big meal, I feel like. And then we'll order dessert later. Um... So now this has become a business meeting. And oh, so Aladdin is like, listen. Oh my God, is Cruella coming? Hey, Aladdin! Don't have a crush on him. He's Jasmine's man. Um, so Aladdin's telling Genie, he's like, look, I'm in love with this girl. And Genie's like, mm, I can't do that. I can't make anybody fall in love. I can't bring anyone back from the dead. And I can't wear blue on uh, Wednesdays. <laughs> And I must wear pink on Wednesdays. Um, is this guy, like, conspiracy theorist? Uh, get out of here. You're interrupting our meal. Go away. Unless you're bringing me food, I don't want to hear about it. Get out of here. Thank you. I don't know what about your conspiracies, sir. And so Aladdin's like, no, look. All I need to do is be a prince. You just got to make me a prince. And JD's like, eh, it's kind of loose terms, make me a prince, you know? Aladdin's like, I just need her to like me. Just make me a prince. And JD's like, all right, you see, we'll we'll work with what we got here. And so Aladdin's like, sick, thanks. On Wednesday, I can't wear pink. Blue is my color. <laughs> Will you be streaming on Monday with the holiday? I haven't 100% decided yet because it depends on if i have family that's doing anything and my family doesn't make plans to like the last minute ever so we'll see but it would be nice to do something with my husband because i'm sure he has off that day and i've been wanting to take Ryder somewhere fun cruella no cruella you dropped her food no Ugh. I hope they bring our food right back out because I want the food. <laughs> bon Helena! Oh, we got somebody running around here. I think you have been stuck. Ooh, we'll get to see you more of you in a bit eventually too. She's running and yelling, probably scared of Bon Hilda. Bon Hilda, who you with, honey? Who you here with? Who else is here? I kind of am curious now. What other Disney characters do I got here? Oh, great. Now I got a lot of Sims freaking out. That's not really what I want. Got... <gasps> no, the Sultan's here! No, why do you have makeup on, Sultan? I didn't know you were going to be this fly looking. Got some Sims smoking it over here. Oh, Agnes! Or no, sorry, Agatha. All right. Did we get our food yet? No, Cruella freaking wasted it. Thanks. All right. Are we going to get our food anytime soon? 
We almost had it, and then Corella biffed it. Order for table, wait for order to be taken. Didn't we already order our food? Ugh, I wish they would fix this. It does take really long. Like, sometimes it'll work, but it takes. <gasps> yes, please give us our food. Please. Yes, thank you, Cruella. Thank you. It does take a long time sometimes, but it is still cute. Eat up, boys. Oh! Oh, I must have a, a mod that overrides the root beer floats and the cream colas. Interesting. Let me save. I actually did also, um, over the weekend, I made uh, the Mean Girls, because it was been requested. So, I- oh! Oh, no! No! I didn't mean to save and <laughs> go to manage worlds. Whatever, they got their food, you saw them eating it, they just aren't gonna get to finish it. Um, I guess what I can do here- now, what am I doing? Oh, here's what I need. Okay. Uh. Yes, library, you see. You see right through me. I am thinking about doing a Mean Girls Hunger Games coming up. Would everybody be interested in something like that? I'm thinking the Mean Girls, obviously. And then a couple other sims from the show. Or sims from the show. A couple others as well. So, thinking about that. I'm rooting for Damien and the goth one to win. <laughs> Those two I still have to make. Janice. I still have to make Damien and Janice. But I did just make the, the main mean girls. And I'd like to show them to you, actually. I just want to show you my mean girls real quick. I just wanted to see what you guys think. So here is Katie. Uh, I'd love to pop them down so I can show you all their outfits because I'm very proud of them. So I have Katie. We got Regina. We got Gretchen Wieners. And Karen Smith. I'm very proud of them, actually. I thought I did a pretty decent job on them. But I have their, their outfits in pink, and then I have a second everyday outfit wear for them where they're not wearing pink. And I tried to take as many outfits from the movie as I could as reference. So yeah. They all look great now that I'm surprised. <laughs> Alright, so... Aladdin join, uh, no, oh god, no, 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 Aladdin, Jasmine, you didn't see this. So Aladdin shows up at the palace, genie in tow, trying to blend in a little more. You know, everybody sees a natural skin tone, they don't see blue. Um, but Aladdin shows up at the palace as a potential suitor for Jasmine. He comes in with this big attitude in Jasmine. At first thinks she sees something in him. But he's just kind of being so arrogant, she's not sure about him. And he's kind of like, you know, he's fumbling everything up. Um, when he really allowed to just be himself, because Jasmine, right now, is not impressed with the current Aladdin that she is seating. But he is telling her that he is, um... What, Ali Boo Boo? <laughs> oh, crap. Who does he tell her he is? Prince Ali. 
I don't remember if there's a whole name, but I know it's Prince Ali. He's telling her his name is Prince Ali. And she's like, yeah, sure. So she goes to her room and she's like thinking to herself, she's like, I just don't understand what's going on right now. I feel so confused. I swear that's Aladdin, the boy I met from the market. And he's like, nah, not me. I'm gonna never be me. I'm just gonna go take a nap somewhere. Is that fine with you? Prince Ali, Ababwa, that's what I was missing, Ali. Prince Ali, ever is he, Ali Ababwa. Still, yes, ten regular men. Strongest ten regular men, definitely. Aw, oh, it steps like right over Raja. So here's where like the rest of the story part gets a uh, gets a little little hard because it's hard to do everything that happens in the movie. Obviously, he can't take her on a magic carpet ride, so he's like sitting here and he's like uh i feel like she's not vibing with me i feel like she's not liking me at all right now and he just doesn't know what he should do he's like she's just not vibing with me she left she didn't want anything to do with me and jasmine's just frustrated she's just sitting up in a room like i can't i can't i don't even know and so So it starts to become nighttime. Jasmine's getting ready for bed. Feeling sad, feeling sorry for herself. She goes to hang out on her. Okay, never mind. I guess not. She goes to hang out on her little balcony here. Aladdin, I swear, if you guys don't stay in costume for five freaking seconds. so he comes and meets her out on her balcony and she's real mad at him still oh this is actually a really cute really cute little screenshot let me just grab that up for you oh this is actually really cute rachel thank you for the follow slytherin thank you for the follow baby bad baby thank you so much for the follow as well Oh my gosh. But yeah, he is like, look, I know I've been kind of acting really dumb. He's like, obviously my little ruse is not working for you. He's like, so I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, I'm Aladdin. And Jasmine's like, I freaking knew it. <laughs> She's like, I can see right through that disguise of yours. She's like, why did not you just tell me the truth? And Aladdin's like, well, I didn't think you'd like me if I told you the truth. And she's like, of course I'd like you. And she's like, look, my dad's having a little party here in a little bit. Um, would you like to go with me? And he's like, of course I would. Uh -huh. And stuff like that. So it's not as in-depth as it is in the movie. You guys know what it is. Because, um, you know, I, it's hard to do everything that happens in Aladdin because of the magic carpet and all like the fancy magicalness. So sadly, I can't do that much filler. So we got to kind of roll with the punches here. <laughs> Um, so Jasmine's like, you know what? Maybe you can make it up to me tonight by going to my father's dance with me. And Aladdin's like, I would love nothing more. <laughs> and so they have a little flirty flirt because there is an attraction. Aladdin, could you pay attention? Jasmine is trying to like get over here and talk to you. Um, uh, romance, uh, not physical intimacy. Can I get a little flirt? So they kind of start flirting with each other because they're vibing. She's like, I knew. Oh, and that's when she like smacks the hat off his head too. She's like, get that stupid thing off your head. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, fine. I'll donate a dollar. We're rich. We can do that. Honestly, I should have given more. And they're just kind of getting to know each other a little better. Now that all of the, the lies are out of the way. Mm. She said, I can see past your disguise of new clothing. <laughs> and then Jeannie over here, she was chilling. Also, did I, I thought I told my sins that they can have free will again. No, I lied to myself. All right, free will for all my sins again so they don't all die. Jeannie fiddling himself over here sees a beautiful, beautiful lady. Over here that genie just like kind of falls in love with the second he sees her. It's like instant. 
connection. He vibes with this woman. Hey, <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, Tuga. I like. I think it is cute how they are kind of kind of bonding a little bit. Oh, confess attraction? Yeah, tell Adelaide that you have a little crush on him. Oh, they're getting so excited talking to each other. And, and Jeannie's like, oh, hello, Miss Ma'am. You are Kuyahoot, would you please? Oh, Jeannie, you're so smooth, Will Smith, Jeannie. And of course, she just loves the flirtation. She is eating it up. Dahlia never gets hit on. You know, she is a palace servant. So Dahlia's like not used to all the love and affection. Is the palace available on the gallery? It's immaculate. Yes, I didn't make it. I got it off the gallery. If you just go uh, look up the gallery, if you type in like Agraba Palace and you go to the most popular search results, it's like the very first one. It is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous girlies. It looks like this. Uh, look for the one that's got the little red, we uh, the little red designs around the ball object. It is off the gallery. I love this one so much. Gosh, I really gotta give credit to the uh, the simmer who made it. Um, I added on a bedroom for Jasmine. That's honestly about the only thing that I changed. Let me just look up Agraba, and then go to lots, and then go to most popular. Yes, it's called Palace of Agraba by Sadi Sim. S A T I S I M by Sadi Sim. It is the Palace of Agraba. Spectacular, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous palace. Um, very talented, very talented purple. It is purple, per se. Um, amazing, I really love it. Also, a lot of the Agraba places that you see me playing through in this, I got right off the gallery. Like the taste of Agraba, um, some of the bazaars, the poor houses, the cafe, everything like that. Um, a lot of this I got straight off the gallery. So if you would like, to make your own uh, Agraba in your Sims game. Oasis Springs is a great place to put everything down. Um, like I believe this is the land grab lot that I have the house in and stuff like that. So yeah, it's amazing. Just go look up Agraba and like the most popular search results, you will find it right away. Beautiful place. Um, your Jasmine, Aladdin look amazing. Thank you. Now I did make both the Aladdin and the Jasmine and I take great pride in all of my Sims. I, I love making Disney Sims. I love making Sims in general, but I love story playing. So for me, having really accurate Sims is a part of my story playing. Um, so I love making Sims. I love making things that are, that are accurate looking as to the best abilities that I can. So I love getting CC and stuff like that. That's like kind of how I play. I love making characters. Not just random sims. I don't like just making pretty sims. Like, that's fun for me. Making characters that look like the people from movies or Disney movies or cartoons or anything that I grew up with, to me, is, like, my favorite part. Like, I am very proud of the Jasmine that I have made. I, I'm very proud of, like, a lot of my Disney sims. Um, I feel like I do them justice as much as I can. Like, especially if I can get height accuracy. That's like one of my favorite parts because the Sultan is so tiny. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for noticing. I, I Thank you, Purple Tiger. It, I love my stuff, so thank you. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Kenzie as well, thank you. Save a man and don't let us down. Okay, I'm saving, saving. <laughs> it's amazing what people can do. There are a lot of very talented people out there. There are a lot of very talented people. Yeah, I'm not a builder. I make beautiful sips. I'm not a builder. I can decorate. Like, this was a, another courtyard like this over here, but Jasmine needed a bedroom. So I made this room for Jasmine. I loved decorating it. I love decorating. I can decorate. I can't do floor plans. I'm bad at floor, at floor plans. But I can decorate. I can decorate. To me, that's the fun part. So I did decorate this room, uh, but that's it. That's about as much as I changed up this build. I didn't do a lot because it's... The bones of it are gorgeous. They didn't really need a lot of touches. Ooh. 
All right, so it is the the night of the dance that the the sultan is kind of throwing. It's not just a little private thing to like welcome the new prince. At the time, Salty doesn't realize it. Oh, Jeannie's giving her a kiss. Yes, Jeannie, get your girl. Get your lady, Janie. Romance her right off her pants. Oh, right off her feet. No, I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> Ask her to be your girlfriend. Jeannie's in love and I love it. He loves Dahlia and it's so cute. I'm gonna pretend I didn't so say that earlier. Aladdin, are you good at dancing? Not that great. Okay, well, you're about to be. Go here, go here. Oh, get it, Aladdin! Okay, I'm sorry. I doubted your dance moves. You are. Very impressive. So, speaking of that impressiveness, Aladdin, I would like you to ask Jasmine for this. Oh, I gotta change Jasmine's outfit. Uh, I don't know which dance would be good. So I'm gonna pick this one for now. And then Jasmine, if you could put on your like party fit. There you go. Yes. Man, Jafar sucks at his job. Oh, there's not enough room up here? Fine, I know where you can. You can dance out here. Plenty of room out here, we have seen it done. I don't know what would I don't know what dance is close <laughs> to an uh agraba dance of ones that I have here in my back pocket. So this is what we're gonna do, and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna regret it later. But for now, this is what we're doing. <laughs> Just don't make me regret it, okay, Jasmine? Jasmine is already making me regret this choice. Oh, maybe not. It's actually really cute. It's more of a salsa, um, you know, which is not technically of this ethnicity, but I think we can make it work for now. I just feel like it can't be too slow in this moment. Jasmine, you're making me uncomfortable with all the body rolling. <laughs> but Aladdin and Jasmine are cute dancers together, though. Oh, don't put her in a wall. Oh, oh, and you're done. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's it. Now it's not going to be it for me. Couple dance. Uh, so, Senorita. How hearts dance? Fly me to the moon. I know my favorite. Let's try this one. I know my uh, my favorite is like fly me to the moon. That slow dance is like one of my faves, but I always forget what the other ones are. So let's see if this one is more of the vibe. So far, Jasmine is standing behind him. Is, Jas is Jasmine leading or is Aladdin leading right now? No, Jasmine's doing her part. Okay. Oh, very, very nice, Jasmine. See, this dance is a little slower. They started, they started with a very like fast-paced uh, tempo dance. And now they're slowing it down just a little bit. Oh, watch them hands, Aladdin. Raja! What's up, Raja? You gonna check out your- oh, Watch them hands! I saw that grazing. Grazing the side over there. Oh, now we're really slowing it down. Okay. Uh, love a good tango. Love a good tango. Such fancy footwork. Dancer! Hey, what a beautiful name. Like, what a beautiful timing for a name like that. Dancer, thank you so much. Dan Dancer Riley Elliott, thank you so much for coming on over. Thank you for the follow. Gorgeous. All right, one more dance and I'll be done. Jasmine and Aladdin just had to do a couple dances. Jasmine, don't you walk away. Jasmine, don't you walk away. Not yet, just give me one more. Give me one more dance. One more dance and then I'll be done. We've, we've, we've gradually slowed down the tempo just a little bit. Now let me slow it down one more time with my favorite, which is Fly Me to the Moon. You know, I gotta do it to him. Please don't clip into the wall with it. What the heck have you changed into? Oh, I guess that's the, uh... That's the mesh. 
Oh, they are totally going to end up in the wall. They're so close to the wall. No! I don't want them to end up in the wall. This is one of my favorite dances. Don't go in the wall. Please don't clip into the wall. Stay right where you are. This dance is so beautiful. Maybe they won't end up in the wall. Don't go in that wall. Don't step backwards. Is that it? That can't be it. <gasps> no, you didn't even spin her around. That is not it. Fine, I said that'd be my last dance, and it is. So, Jasmine and Aladdin, you know, after all that dancing, you know, they really do believe that they are meant to be with one of each other, and Aladdin gets a little, you know, complimenting Jasmine, telling her he looks gorgeous, 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 gorgeous girlies. He's like, I think you're really beautiful. And Jasmine's like, that's nice and all. And Aladdin's like, but I also think that you're incredibly smart and you should use your smarts. And I think you'd be a great ruler someday. You really get your people. Jasmine's like, I can hardly get my people if I've hardly spent time with them. Aladdin's like, you did it once. It shows you got dedication. <laughs> and he's like, are you currently seeing anyone? And Jasmine's like, not, not really. They're all kind of stupid. <laughs> They love each other and learn where babies come from. <laughs> uh -huh. I think we should have a baby named Mulan. <laughs> uh -huh. I think that's in the cards for us. I think that's within a reasonable so amount cool. of uh, of requests Mulan. here. So, uh -huh. And Jasmine's like, yeah, I would love to get to know you more. And Aladdin's like, do you want to be my girlfriend? <laughs> and really, the Sultan just excited to see Jasmine in love with somebody. And he's like, oh, my God, I'm going to have a I'm going to have a son. Also, I hate it when in-laws call you like, I don't know. I don't have like very strong ties. Like I have a good family, but also I'm not that close to them. Um, like so when people like. Like, when my mother-in-law just calls me her daughter, creeps me out a little bit, because I'm married to her son. And I'm like, this feels incesty. Please don't call me that. <laughs> like, I don't like it when in-laws call me, like, daughter, um, or they call, like, you know, my husband's son and stuff like that. I'm like, no. They're your son-in-law. I'm your daughter-in-law. Let's not do that. <laughs> like, I don't feel like it takes anything away. I think it's just the correct title to use. But I don't know, I guess. Does anybody yeah. like being called that? I guess if you are an in-law, do you like it if your parent, your um, father-in-law, mother-in-law calls you their son slash daughter? Or would you prefer they say daughter-in-law or son-in-law? For those of my married people around here. And Aladdin gives <laughs> Jasmine, after asking her to be her girlfriend, give her a little kissy in front of her servant and her father. He's like, Sir Sultan, I would like to court your daughter. And Sultan's like, that's great. I'm very happy about this union. He's like, if Jasmine didn't get married to anybody, I would have made her marry Jafar. And Jasmine's like, uh, ew. Father, you did not just say that. Jafar, he's so old and awful. And he's like, well, you know, if things didn't work out with Aladdin, that was where we were heading next. <laughs> Let her blow. And Jasmine's like, no. Why are you bald all of a sudden? Jafar has hair. Put a hat on. Alright. That's when Jafar gets here. And he hears what Sultan said about marrying Jasmine. Which means that uh, Jafar would get to be the Sultan next. And no way in heck would you think he'd let Jasmine lead and stuff like that. So Jafar starts scheming to get rid of Aladdin. Yes, yes Mulan will be our next one. The only ones that get a pass are the grandparents. Yeah, I feel like grandparents are get a pass. I like it. It makes me feel like I'm accepted into the family. That is a fair preference. See, I feel fine with being called daughter-in-law because I'm like, yeah, I'm your daughter-in-law. 
Like, at least you just don't call me, like, their wife. <laughs> but at the same time, so. But anyways, Jafar asks Aladdin to come here. Um, to meet him up here to congratulate him on the successfulness um, of getting Jasmine's hand. Because basically he's proposed himself to J Sultan, 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 you're not supposed to be here. You are not supposed to be, be here cutting up a rug right now. Uh, Jafar is supposed to be having a secret meeting. How about you go swim? How about everybody goes and swims or does something else? Anything else? Well, Jafar has a little, a little chit chat. Jafar is like, listen, boy, you think you're slick. I know what you're doing. You're just after the throne. Like he's pretending that he's, he's like, you're just a baby yourself. You could never be anything to Jasmine. And Aladdin's like, she loves me. And <laughs> Jafar is like, oh, you think you're just her little play toy. You think she would actually marry a street rat? He's like, you're a phase. She's a teenage girl. She needs someone like myself to guide her, to show her the ropes. Oh, why are we wearing bags on our head? Aladdin, get the bag off your head, baby. Jafar throws a little drink at Aladdin. He's like, look, you'll never be anything to her. And Aladdin's like, you're wrong. And then they fight. And it's a fight to the death. You're just a street rat. Aladdin, please come out on top so I don't have to pretend that you won. Like, please just show me that you're gonna be a natural winner. Oh, do we, okay, sorry. I know they're having a fight to the death over there, but oh, they were having a little cute slow dance together. Oh, so good. <laughs> and Aladdin totally won. Jafar played a cheap shot and, you know, how things go. But Aladdin, he got Jafar. It was a fight to the death for Jasmine's honor. Um. Ah. Uh. And Aladdin flees the scene. And Jafar is so angry. He just, you know, just, yeah. <laughs> oh, Dahlia, no, you found his body first. Oh, Abu, I kind of forgot you were here. What's up, Abu? And Jeannie's like, ah, eh, yeah, Grim, it was definitely not me. Nope, I had not a thing to do with this. And Grim's like, yeah, yeah, Jeannie, I know. Jeannie's like, I didn't sneak Aladdin a knife in his pocket. I definitely would never have done that. And then we just um, destroy that. Thank you. So he never comes back. Jeannie just kind of throws it into the abyss. And then he's like, you, Dahlia. It's always been you for me. Me and you, honey. He's like, will you dance with me? <laughs> Jeannie. Jeannie and Dahlia have my heart. They're so sweet together. I love them. It's like, Dahlia, it has come to my attention that life is so short. So short. Would you marry me? You should have let us see Jafar in his Speedo one last time. Darn, not our stripper. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do we need to see Aladdin and Genie on the pole? Is that what you guys want? I mean... I could do that if I hit 440 subs. I could get Aladdin and Jafar on the pole. If I get five more subs. Man, I'm not gonna do it for free. <laughs> <laughs> no question yes <laughs> all right and at this point oh sultan and jasmine are having a nice time hanging out together that's really cute he's like are you gonna get married and jasmine's like yes baba she's like but i'd like to wait till i'm a t uh, an adult and luckily for her it was her birthday today <laughs> is aladdin an adult or is he a teen he is an adult a young adult. 
All right, so Jasmine ran up and she's very romantic now, and she still had a leader of the world. Yes, I don't think that was leader, but oh well, doesn't matter. All right. Well, <laughs> oh, Lemba. <laughs> Chima <laughs> bar stoop. <laughs> Genie. You did not. <gasps> no, I missed it! I told Genie to propose to Dahlia and then I got distracted. Oh, but she said yes. Dang it! I told him to propose to her and then I totally missed the proposal. I'm so dumb. I'm so stupid. How could I have missed that? Ugh, I'm so disappointed in myself. <laughs> How could I miss their proposal? Gosh darn it. All right, you know what? I won't miss this one though. And I think it's only right for the proposal to be not right now. Maybe in a second. Yeah, now's the time. Just feel in my bones. I feel like it's only right for it to be on the terrace where he proposes to Jasmine. It's gorgeous. We love to see it. <laughs> I feel like this takes do you trust me to a whole new level. He's just swaying her over the banister. He's like one, two, a three. <laughs> hey, Manders! How dare you? Blaine Houston. <laughs> I said you won't have the stripper dance until we get five new subs. <laughs> no more motorboating. <laughs> She's refusing to save. I'll save for some. <laughs> All right, it's time to plan a wedding. It's time to uh, where am I gonna have the wedding now? Because we have Jasmine's bedroom. Well, in Jasmine's bedroom. Um, maybe right here. This could be cute. Like this looks like the aisle, you know? I think we'll do that. I think that'll look really cute actually. And maybe we'll just do Dahlia and, uh, and Aladdin's wedding at the same time. <laughs> She likes to play on the edge. Oh my god. X. Um, my wedding stories. You know, my wedding stories is a terribly buggy pack, but good lord, do I use it all the time. Like, I do use this one. Quite a bit. Um, there we go. Have them walk down there. There, we'll just kind of drape with that over that for now. All right. And then I don't have a wedding dress prepared for Jasmine and Dahlia right now, so I think I'm gonna have to go do that, actually. I mean, they could do a wedding in her bedroom? Get out of here. Terrible. Terrible. 
All right, let's start with Dahlia. I think, you know, since she is in servant class, oh, her dress should be pretty simple. Uh, let me see this. Do, do they have this all in white? Oh, they do have it all in white. That's kind of cute. So I'm going to save this as an option. But let me see something else, too. Facts. My wedding stories. Actually, I think this is pretty cute for Dahlia's wedding dress. I think I'd rather do one of these. I think we'll do this. A little offset ivory. I think this is cute for Dahlia. Well, that was quick. Now Jasmine. <laughs> Jasmine has a beautiful formal wear outfit, but Jasmine's dress um, is technically white in her movie. And there is no white dress in this swatch, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna have to figure out something else. Jasmine's wedding dress. Let's see. There is CC for her wedding dress. I just never installed it. Oops. Jasmine's wedding dress, let's see. And I have the actual art, thank you. So this is Jasmine's wedding dress. She, it's a very like uh, sleek look, which she has two flowers in her hair and a veil. And Aladdin is wearing kind of similar to the fit that he's got on, so I'm not gonna worry about his too much. But hers is more long sleeves that hug the hips, and then it flows down. It's something pretty, two purple flowers and a veil. So, I'm gonna try and get to as close to movie accurate for her dress as I, as I can. Which could be something like this. So I'm gonna save that as an option. Um. What about that? Mm, not as close. I forgot I had this. Of all of the Disney princesses, oh, this could work. It's a little risque on the top, sure, but it is kind of similar. Now let me see what I can do here to maybe make it a little less risque. <gasps> there we go, there we go. I added this lace underlay, which I think really helps us out. And then, um, so she has like the gold around her wrist, which I think I can help. I've got these gold, uh, gold bracelets, which give us that look. And then I've got some accessory veils, which are... Let's see. Maybe I've got this one. So her hair is not in this style. It's kind of down. Like it's got her like go-to shape, but it's not in this exact form. Maybe I'm gonna try a different veil. I think I might try a different veil. As like this one's accurate. Like, it's very close to what she does in the movie, but like it just doesn't work with her hair. And while she doesn't have like the blue, oh god, I don't know what to do with her hair. I don't know what to do with her hair actually because she doesn't wear her blue headband. I know we've got some uh, big ponytail kind of thing. Nah, I mean, that could kind of work. 
kind of. Hmm. That's literally just Ariel's hair, but it is kind of the bud. Well, I mean, what about her hair that she wears to bed? Hmm. Where's that one at? Where's your sleep hair? Oh, I'm right next to it. You know what? This could work. This could work. Just let me find a veil that works with it. What about the down style she has for me? Yeah, Manders, you literally had the same thoughts I did. Alright, ignore that veil. What about this veil? Will this go over her hair? Nope, it sinks into her dress. Nope, sinks into the dress. Uh? <gasps> this one works! Yes! Okay, now flowers in the hair. I think I've got a flower accessory that could work. Oh, the earrings. Gosh darn it. The earrings are off. So I'm gonna have to go for... Either of these ones. Or these ones. I think I might do these. It's just because they have the big effect. Or this. I feel like those are good, but they like take away too much. So I think I'll just do these ones. All right, and I think I have a purple flower hair accessory. That could work. I think it's double flowers on each side, which would be even better. Ah. I can just find it. Um. See, this is why I hold on to random junk for so long, because I'm like, but what if I could use it? Okay, there, that is a headpiece that is an option for the purple flowers. So we have an option that works decently. It's got a couple other things that's a little funky, but it is an option. Mm. What about you? Nope, you don't work. What about this one? <gasps> this one would be perfect! Oh, come in purple. <gasps> oh my god, it's got the flowers on both sides! And I like the little beading that comes out. It's a little sunken into her hair, but I don't care. Here, I think this... There. That's pretty close. That's pretty close. I don't think we're gonna be getting a whole lot better than that. So I will take this. I think this is a pretty solid wedding look for Jasmine. It's not too far off. We have a lot of accessories. <laughs> so that's cute, but I think this looks good. I think we'll take this for her wedding fit. Let me get rid of the old one. I thought I got rid of the wrong fit for a second. I was about to cry. All right, so here's Jasmine's wedding dress fit. Um, do we got Dahlia's? Aladdin should be square. Genie should be square. I think we're good. Hopefully, we just don't crash now. Well, I just scrolled by and this is gorgeous. Thank you, Chelsea! <laughs> Glad you like it. Thank you for sharing the live. <laughs> solid job guys solid job i can't speak english tonight i don't even think i said english words there all right let's start with dahlia and Jeannie getting married so let's have Send down two Sims, a genie and a Dahlia. Wait. Yeah, Dahlia. For a second I was thinking her name was supposed to be Delilah. And I was thinking, hey there Delilah, what's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away, but girl, tonight you look so ready. Yes, you do. If there is a single person in this chat that doesn't know that song, raise your hand right now. Expose yourself. If you don't know that song, we need to have a conversation. 
Because you may just be a little too young to be here. Or far too old. <laughs> All right, Dahlia in her fit. Let's see the genie in Dahlia. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, precious boobies. Yes. <clears throat> That's like saying you don't look. No, Mr. Brightside. <laughs> Bells? What is that? How could you not know this song? I'm kidding. That you better be. You better be. All right. <gasps> Get out of here. <laughs> All right. Let's watch Jeannie and Dahlia go down the aisle. Oh, my God. They're so beautiful. The genie's crying. He's so happy. Aladdin has freed him. And now <laughs> he gets to live his life with the love of his life. Looking as cute as ever. Oh. And now let's have them go ahead and get married. Get married to Dahlia, ladies maid. On Can I have them come watch? Attend wedding, yes. <laughs> Attend wedding. Oh. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, Jeannie. Abu! What are you doing, Abu? Why are you- no. Dahlia, you're not drunk on your wedding day, are you? Let me get rid of that for you. You don't want you to be sick on your wedding day. Oh my god, is Abu the freaking officiant? Abu! Marry them. Wed them. <laughs> Jeannie could get it. Hey, I still haven't received those gifted sets. We could have a stripper dance, I'm just saying. Anorva. Sweep him off his feet, Dahlia! Mm -hmm. Oh, she's blushing! They're both blushing! Cute babies. And then they just go off and have a great time. Down here. No rhyme reason or anything like that. Just a grand old time. Oh, wait, no. I want these guys to come walk down the aisle now. Send down. Two Sims. Aladdin and Jasmine. Oh gosh, they got here fast. Okay, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Jasmine. Dress or change outfit. There's a party here in Agrippa. Oh, Raja just ran in between them! This ain't no family friendly stream anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they are gorgeous. I know, Ragdus, they look so good. How are you tonight, sweetheart? I got humbled today. Oh, no. I'm Jasmine. For a second, Jasmine looks like she's about to judge Aladdin so hard. It's like, you're really crying. Oh, honey, you're so sweet. <laughs> And Aladdin's like, oh, baby, stop it. Or that, or he's about to, like, boop her in the nose or something. Oh, my gosh. Hold on. I got to get screenshots. You know how I operate. I don't know why I screenshot everything, but I really do, though. Like, they're such a power couple. Look at them. They're so gorgeous. He's giving her the ick. <laughs> oh, gosh darn it. If JD's freaking ch shoulder wasn't clipping through right now, Jasmine would look so gorgeous. Unless JD is just kind of walking her down. Oh, it's like a three-person picture. It's like she's walking a 
up with her two best guys. They're both giving her away right at the very end. That's what it looks like. It looks like he's giving her away. Oh my god. That is adorable. I just keep hearing, there's a party here in Agrippa. Everybody gather around. Hey, Sultan, it is your daughter's wedding and you are swimming. <laughs> and you are just swimming over here. I don't want you to walk down the aisle. I just need you to get over here. Okay, Jeannie and Dahlia, if you weren't going to go woohoo like I asked you to, come step to the side, please. All right, I don't know where Sultan's at, but. Um, or, um, attend wedding. There we go. Come on, Sultan. Hurry up. It's your daughter's wedding. You are in your bathing suit still. Let me fix this for you. Can't have you acting like a fool. There you go. Dress for the occasion. For a second, I thought Jasmine looked pregnant. Dahlia! Why are we standing right there? Thank you. <laughs> He's always swimming. Well, it's hot around here. Of course they're swimming. Janie. <laughs> yes, Janie, give them away. Be their officiant. That'd be so cute. I'm sure that he did. No, didn't he at the wedding? Or was that the Sultan? They have their actual wedding in a movie. It's in like um, the third movie where they actually get married. So... I know there's footage of the wedding. And I forget who gives them away. It's been so long since I watched the third the third Aladdin movie. By the way, if you guys didn't know, there are three Aladdin movies. There is Aladdin, then there is Jafar's Return. Aladdin, Jafar's Return. And then there is Aladdin, King of Thieves. Or Prince of Thieves. I think it's King of Thieves. Beautiful movies, I love them. There's three movies, yes, baby. There is, like I said, there's Aladdin, there is Aladdin Jafar's Return, and then there is Aladdin King of Thieves. No, 40 Thieves. It's the 40 Thieves, not King of Thieves, it's 40 Thieves, I believe. That's where he meets his dad. Yes, Aladdin meets one of his parents in the movies he meets his dad in aladdin 40 thieves or is it king of thieves or is it 40 thieves aladdin and it is the king of thieves it's the king of thieves so aladdin and the king of thieves that is the one you need to go see i had that movie on blu-ray i had all of the aladdin movies not on blu-ray sorry on vhs i'm not that young i'm very old um so if you would like, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely a B, a B class movie, you know, cause like the first movie gets the lead animating team and then the second movie gets like the B animators. So the animation style is a little different. So just know that going in, it doesn't look as crisp or as shaded, but it is still a very, also da Aladdin's dad is hot. <laughs> VHS, what's that? <laughs> yeah, and his dad is hot. He is hot. <laughs> I need to make Aladdin's dad. I need to do that, actually. <laughs> oh my god, Bells, I still have the VHS tapes. Well, we know where he gets it from. <laughs> so yeah, I had this movie. I literally it had this cover and everything. Um... So if you have not seen all of the Aladdin movies, go watch them. I love them so much. Like, yes, like I said, B-class animation, as you can see by the eye proportions here. Um, but it is still a very cute movie. Worth a watch. I always think so. I, I love the sequels. Um, did anybody used to watch the Aladdin TV show? Does anybody remember that there was, like, a TV series for Aladdin? Because I used to watch that after school Sundays. 
Um, I don't remember how long it went on for. Maybe it only went on for a little while. But I remember they used to have a TV show of Aladdin because it was so popular. Yes. I remember. Does anybody remember the Aladdin episode with the horse? There's also a Disney Enchanted story of Jasmine and this horse. And where she's breaking this wild horse. And it's amazing. Um, I, <laughs> yes, I remember that. <laughs> but yeah, I remember Aladdin had a TV show. He had three movies. Very. Sinbad was my first crush. <gasps> Bruh. If you guys have never seen the movie Sinbad by DreamWorks. So good. So good. Another, DreamWorks smash. DreamWorks puts out good movies. Sinbad was made by the same people who made Prince of Egypt. And we all know how amazing Prince of Egypt is. And Sinbad, also, a very guy crush. Like, he is hot. Sinbad is also hot. So if you've never, you guys have homework over the weekend, you need to go watch the three Aladdin movies, especially the third one. Um, two is not my favorite, but especially the third one. Sinbad, and especially this chick, this chick, She's so hot. <laughs> so gorgeous. Go, if you have never seen the movie Sinbad, also go watch that one. Go watch Sinbad and go watch um, all the Aladdin movies. That is your homework over the weekend. Road to El Dorado. Yes, oh my God, Road to El Dorado was such a good movie. Also a DreamWorks movie. DreamWorks puts out good stuff. DreamWorks, love them, love them, love them. I made El Dorado characters. I made Tulio and Miguel. L and Shell. I made them. Let me see, let me see where they're at. El Dorado. <laughs> L. I don't remember where they're at. <laughs> I feel like searching L should get me where I need to be here. Where are they at? I know I've made them before. They better be in here. Where the heck are they at? Shell Dorado. Dorado? <gasps> How do I spell El Dorado? I don't remember. L. Dur. Dorado. Dorado. Dor. Odd. There we go. There. See, I made them. I made Shell and Tulio. And Miguel, I love them. Love them, love them, love them. Oh my gosh, I've been rambling, but you know what a time it is. It's time to get to making that next Disney princess because we have finished up Jasmine. I was about to say in Hercules. <laughs> we finished up Jasmine and Aladdin's main story. So now it's time to get to the love makings. of the next Disney princess. We have to consummate the marriage. That's not Speaking of, Jeannie, I would also like you and Dahlia to make a baby, so if y'all could get on that, I would really appreciate it. All right, Jasmine and Aladdin are on board. Oh my God, Hercules, I need to watch that movie again. I love Hercules, I also have made the characters from Hercules. My Hades is rough because it's hard to do Hades in the Sims. <laughs> but my, I'm very proud of my me Oh wait, sorry. There we go. These are my more updated. So I've made Hercules and Megara and Hades. And I also made Pegasus and Pink Pegasus. I don't know, the, you know, that's a pain. What is it? P pain and panic. You know, where they are that pink Pegasus that splits apart in half. I made that one too. <laughs> Megara looks so good. I love Meg! Nightmare! Nightmare! <laughs> Is Jeannie's baby going to be blue? I don't know, but I'd love to see it. Love to see it. Alright, are they woohooing? I think, yeah, they're gonna go woohoo as well. Make the babies. Is that the only baby you're gonna make? Cause I'd like you to try again. Just until I know both of them are pregnant. All right, 
let me just see. Is you pregnant? Is you pregnant? Yes. Okay. So in uh in the live action Aladdin, uh, Dahlia has twins, a boy and a girl. Well, I don't know if they're twins necessarily, but she has two kids. So I'm gonna make sure she's pregnant with twins, and then Jasmine, I'm gonna check on here a second and make sure she's pregnant with one female girl. That way we have Mulan, because Mulan, as far as we know, uh, had no siblings. Her parents are pretty old now, so I doubt they're having more kids. Well, I guess we do know that Mulan was the only, obviously, she was the only child because she didn't have a brother to go fight in her dad's place. I'm an idiot. Oh, yes, and Jasmine was already pregnant with one female baby, so we're good to go. I think the Sultan deserves some love now. You would say that. <laughs> but wait. Ooh, why is everything here broken? Why is everything around here broken? Where is a toilet? Are there, there are no toilets up there. The only toilets are downstairs. No, are over here. This is the only toilet in the house. That's also broken. Why is everything broken? So I would like you to take a pregnancy test and you guys are still going at it. You guys can stop. You, you've made the baby. The baby's made. And the live action, I think she has a sister, I think. I did not watch the live action Mulan. I did not watch it. I was disappointed when I heard about it. Me sticking up for Wish, but then also being angry about Mulan. I heard they made her less special. They made her magical. And then that just kind of takes away from all of her, you know, of her just being a, a badass woman. They just made her magic. and that, That's why. And I don't like that. I just want her to be a, like an awesome chick, you know? Yeah, that wasn't great. And yeah, I heard, I heard it by everyone. It just didn't need to be seen. <laughs> it was not worth it. Could you guys get out of the only bathroom in this house? Thank you. All right, there, that way they're both kicking it, pregnant, ready to go. So, here is where our story diverges. <gasps> hey guys, in the, in... let me just pull this out real quick. There's no reason for this poll at all. Not a single one. But if you guys had to choose favorite color between red, pink, and purple, just no no reason, no reason why or anything like that. Just let me know. Red, pink, or purple. Got a favorite color, maybe, of those three colors. So, so. <laughs> they should have stuck to the source. <laughs> It wasn't great, but I have to watch them all. I get that. I get that. Jeannie, you're so cute. I can't wait to see your babies. Ah. You know, just for funsies, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna throw her into labor right now because I personally can't wait. We can wait to have Mulan, but we don't have that much time to see their babies. So I'm gonna make her. Oh, look at how big she is! Look at I love a baby belly. I love a baby belly. Baby bellies are so cute. I don't care what kind of, if you're a teeny pregnancy person, if you're a big pregnancy person, I love baby bellies all around. I think they're gorgeous. I love them. All right, you guys said pink. Sweet. All right. Um. Let me just do this real quick. Oochie <laughs> peachy. I'm oh, sorry, do we have a oh that was I thought we had a raccoon in the house, but it's just uh it's just a boot. Looks like Bama Descos? Hopefully Nardu. Sukuni Lazar. Griffin Noop. So Aladdin invites over some old friends. One I just had to invite over because 
I need to get rid of his romance with her. Their history, you know? Because Aladdin will now forever on only have eyes for uh or her. But, you know, Aladdin calls over some old friends to come perform for the Sultan. Uh, as a going away present. Sultan's time to shine. <laughs> So this is like Aladdin's kind of gift for the Sultan. Yeah, is it classy? No. Is Aladdin classy? No. <laughs> I don't know. This is the only time, by the way, this poll's coming out. This is the only, the only, <laughs> the only time for a minute. And so I just got to use it now. So the insulted is just entranced by this beautiful woman here. You know, you know what? Good for him. He deserves it. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> it's definitely Feral Friday. Oop. And I hope. <laughs> <laughs> we need another Sultan show. No, I haven't got my rewards. <laughs> so this is the closest thing you're going to get. So he is just entranced by her and her performance. You know, that he just falls for her right away. I think the pole should be used in the next Hunger Games. <gasps> oh my god. You're right. Somebody remind me of that. God, I forgot about that with the Sultan though. Okay, Sultan, yep, yep, very nice. Of your first kiss. Uh-huh. And <laughs> saved by seduction. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> and of course, our beautiful girl, uh, Azina, Ooh. does fit maybe so for gifting a sub. I think that could get us one Sultan dance. But if you want to see Aladdin and uh, Genie, I'm still going to have to cough up a little more. There's a bunny here in the room. Everybody come around. And you can hear me, hear me, hear me. Everybody I got walls up, that's why. I didn't see nothing. You're so pretty. Sultan, for the love, move, do something. In this moment. You have something going on? Quick so many gorgeous women and men in this household. There are a lot of beautiful, beautiful people in this safe, I will admit. Sultan, this is not the moment to get cold feet. <gasps> Athena! <laughs> Are 
Are you at? Oh my gosh. I'm. No. Oh, I have a sim having a baby. That's right. Dahlia is giving birth right now. Pinterest. Oh, she is standing yeah. in the crib. I guess that's how she prepares for a baby. Alright, and the Sultan and they have moved on. <laughs> Alright, I need. I need a boy name and a girl name. I need twin boy girl names. What are we naming them? These are uh, Dahlia and Jeannie's kits, so I need a twin boy girl names. And please comment them together. Is there a woman, a woman genie in the show? I can't remember. I don't. I didn't watch the show a bunch, but what are what are the kids' names in the in the actual film? Genies, kids' names, Aladdin. What are the names? Oh yes, uh, the kids' names are Lena and Omar. So there actually is names for them. I will take your suggestions. But they are actually, they do have names in the movie. And all right, there are your name suggestions. Please go and vote. The first name suggestion, which is Leon, Leon and Omar, or Leia, Leani. I don't remember. Um, but those are the actual names of Jeannie and Dahlia's kid in the movie, which I think is very cute, but you know, I understand if you guys don't want to go with that. There you go. The poll is up. You guys have less than 60 seconds to go ahead and cast your vote. If you did not see the poll up, go ahead and refresh stream. It should pop up for you guys. Yeah, I don't remember a whole lot from the Aladdin show. I just caught episodes when I could. So it's not like I religiously watch them. I'd just be like, oh, Aladdin, that Aladdin show's on. And I'd watch that. So I didn't catch everything religiously, nor do I remember everything. But I did like that show. I remember what it would come on. Yeah. Yay! All right, baby boy. The boy's name is Omar. And the girl's name is Leon, Leanne, Leon, Leon. I don't remember how to pronounce the name, but they say it at the movie. I just don't remember how to say it. Oh, they're both blue. <laughs> they're both the blue little babies. <laughs> oh no, they're blue. Oh my goodness. Oh, you are not still pregnant. You stop that right now. I barely remember the show, but it was a memory unlocked. <laughs> Dahlia, why you still look pregnant? I mean, I guess that's realistic. Once you have a baby, like, you don't just pop that baby away. You you still, okay, so she's not pregnant. She's just still got the belly um once you have the give birth to the baby your belly may go down just a little but it does not go down right away it takes some time for that sucker to go away oh the sultan's all tuckered out <laughs> So, how is 
our story going to develop? Because you're like, how are we going to raise Mulan if we're busy? You know, Jasmine's busy taking care of the kingdom. Well, the Sultan just so happened to now have a pregnant wife with a male heir. So the Sultan has a male heir to continue the legacy with. And so, Jasmine's title no longer aligns. Sultan has given the option to Jasmine. She could take the throne. And at first, Jasmine really did think she was going to do that. But, um, one day, Aladdin gets a letter in the mail. And it, is sa it says it is from his mother. Yeah. So, and she lives in China. And Aladdin's like, what? I have a mom? Where, where, have, where have you been? Why didn't you take me with you? Why are you in China? Blah, 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 blah. So Aladdin's mom says, basically explaining to Aladdin, hey, I was visiting Agrabah doing trade at the time, um, fell in love with the guy, a thief on the roads, and he knocked me up and I stayed in Agrabah for a year, gave birth to you, and then stayed for a little while longer and she realized she just couldn't make it in Agrabah. The people weren't really accepting of her. They didn't like her staying for long periods of time. Like they trade with her but they didn't like accept her as one in their culture. And Aladdin's mom knew that if she took Aladdin back home with her, he, he didn't look Chinese, you know? He looked like his dad, who is Agrabarian <laughs> or Arabian. Um, you know, so she knew that her strict Chinese culture would never have accepted Aladdin. His life would have been hell if she had brought him back with her. So he, she put him with a family she thought to trust um, and said, will you please take care of him? She's like, I can't take him back with me. And the lady said, absolutely. And so Aladdin's mom paid her to uh, take him. So she gave Aladdin, uh, the caretaker that was supposed to be Aladdin's like parents, in this situation now she gave him all the money that she had um and she said please take care of him this is all i have to hopefully help you raise him and so aladdin's mom leaves she goes back to china and the people whom she thought she could trust eventually just abandoned aladdin they took the money and they ran and they abandoned aladdin a poor little baby so he had to fend for himself on the streets and she finally, you know, China's been slowly changing and she realized, you know, she's as she's getting on in years, she years, she's getting old that she just desperately wanted to reconnect with her son. She debated in her mind over and over again, should I reach out to him or should I just pretend and let him think I'm dead? You know, he's probably got this great family life back home because she assumes that the people that she paid to take care of him were taking care of him like she thought she could trust them. No, they just took her money and ran. She had no idea. She, she thought Aladdin had this great life back in Agrabah. And he did not. <laughs> Until recently, she heard about him marrying Princess Jasmine. And she's like, oh my God, he's doing great. You know? And so she reaches out to him. And she's like, hey, um, you may not, you know, I totally understand if you hate me and you never want to see me again. But I just had to let you know that I'm your mother. Um... And if you ever wanted to rekindle or get to know me or yell at me in person, um, here is where I live. And so Aladdin takes this information to Jasmine and he's like, hey, I just got a letter from my mom. What should I do? And she's like, we should totally go see her. And Aladdin's like, I don't know how to feel about her, though. Like, she abandoned me. And Jasmine's like, you may not know the whole story. I feel like you should go give your mom, like, hear your mom out. Jasmine's like, I'd give anything to have my mom back. And so Aladdin's like, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe I'll just go see her. You know, I don't have to stay with her. You know, I just, you know, maybe I'll just go hear her out. Or yell at her. 
And Jasmine's like, I think that sounds perfectly reasonable. We should go do that. So Jasmine, you know, tells her father that a future little brother of hers can have the, can start studying to take over the throne if Jasmine so decides and Aladdin so decides that they don't want to be around his mom and stuff like that, don't want to have a connection with her, um, that she'll come back and rule. But if they, you know, rekindle with Aladdin's mom, they might want to stay in China for some time to get to know her and stuff like that. And so basically the Sultan's like, cool, uh, I got a baby boy on the way. I love you, Jasmine. I will always love and support you. But, uh, oh my God, Sultan is also eating like a king right now. <laughs> he's got his tea. He's got his pasta. He's got his chips and another bowl of probably what, a, like a sauce. Like Sultan is eating like a Sultan right now. <laughs> I just thought that was perfect. But there we go. So that is the story. Um, I am about to near my hours. So I'm going to age up Jeannie's kids so we can take a good look at them before I go. But that is the reason they are heading to China. And also, Aladdin is half Chinese. He just happens to take after his father. So that is why Mulan is still technically Chinese <laughs> in my story. In my story. Oh, look at Omar! Jeannie and Dahlia had such a cute kid. I just love how the Sultan's head doesn't reach over the chair. Okay, first off, Jeannie's son, Omar, friggin' adorable. And yeah, a Sultan's head is really level with the chair. He's such a little guy. <laughs> and then is the yeah, and then the little girl is aged up over here. Oh, Leah, Leani, Leah, whatever your name is, Lee. Lena, Lena, Lina, Lena, whatever. I'm gonna call her Lena. She's so cute also. Jeannie's got cute kids. Jeannie's got cute kids. <laughs> Dang, a story of the Silk Road. Really? I mean, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Mandy, your stories have me dead. <laughs> I gotta connect the dots. It's gotta make sense. <laughs> <laughs> let's pack up the magic carpet yeah we got a road trip we gotta go from agrabah all the way over to china jasmine's already planning this out and she's like it's a terrible thing um raja i'm sorry raja you're gonna have to stay here are you gonna poop are you pooping in here oh you do have to go potty okay well we'll send raja out to go potty but raja will have to stay so just aladdin and jasmine are going to be heading out to go uh visit his mom and abu is also staying back Abu is also staying here. Um, they're just accustomed to the weather. They wouldn't like it in China. Blah, 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 blah. So Abu and Raja are staying back, you know, to stay with Jeannie. Jeannie is adopting them for now. So, yeah. But there's Jeannie's kids. That is the story that we're going with. And then when we return on probably Wednesday, maybe Monday, I want to keep Monday open in case uh, my family wants to do a cookout or me and Max want to go do something fun with Ryder, like go to the zoo that day or something like that. I'm going to leave that open. Probably no stream on Monday, but we'll see. Um, I will probably be doing a stream on Sunday. Actually, I forgot. I'm probably going to be streaming on Sunday, this Sunday, um, to uh, make up for the stream I missed last Monday. So I'll probably be doing a Sunday stream. So look out for that as well. So I guess you'll see me on Sunday. Uh, Probably not Monday, and then I'm going to Wednesday. So when I come back on Sunday, if I don't, if I play The Sims, um, then we'll be starting on Mulan next. So I hope you guys are all excited. And that'll be our last Disney princess. So we only have probably, what, two more streams? Two, three more streams? Uh, probably two. Two streams of Mulan story, and uh, then we'll be done. So I hope you guys are ready. Oh, my gosh. You know what? Actually, before I go, I'm going to have Jasmine give birth to Mulan because um, I can at least edit her appearance off camera and then age her back down into an infant. That way I don't have to try and mess with her appearance later on stream and save some time for some more stories. So I'm going to have Jasmine go into labor and have Mulan really fast here. That way I can edit her appearance off stream. And Mulan. Oop, we're in caps locks. Mulan. Ah. So many babies, so little time. <laughs> 
All right, let me go ahead and have her feed little Mulan and then we'll eat her up. There's a party here in Agrippa. Do you know what time Sunday we were thinking? Um, I'm going to do a poll on Discord to ask you guys when you'd prefer on Sunday. Um, so just let me know if you guys would prefer like a noon stream like at 1. Or if you guys would prefer a stream that starts at our regular time. So like 7. Um, so let me know. So if we want like an afternoon stream at one o'clock or if we want like a seven o'clock stream, I'll just have to throw a poll up on the discord. So if you're not a part of the discord, go join the discord so you can vote on what time for the stream you'd prefer. Um, cause I'll leave that up until Sunday and then on Sunday, I'll, um, Sunday morning, I'll double check it and then I'll just do my stream then. Max is good to watch Ryder, so there shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, Mulan, you're gonna need some editing. I don't know where that hair came from. So I will be editing Mulan off camera to look more like Mulan, where her, maybe her grandma's genetics, you know, came through. Somehow her Chinese side just kind of full blast went out there. Um, a lot of would have been asking Jasmine some questions if he hadn't learned his mother was Chinese. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I'll see you guys all again. Um, thank you so much for the wonderful night. I'll see you guys on Sunday. Join the Discord if you haven't already to go ahead and vote. And I'll see you guys all later. Love you so much. Bye! <laughs>